this last episode of Beverly Hills was a lot, but not a lot at the same time. Y'all know what I mean? It was cute. Again, another Kyle versus Dorit, and I'm happy Dorit was handing Kyle her tail. Okay, I'm not mad at it, but I do want to switch it up just a, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, anyway, hey, y'all. My name is Belle. This is the Belle Perspective, and we're here today to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This is season 14, episode three, Life's a Beach. Child, if you're new to my channel, hey, girl, hey, hey, person, hey, okay? I talk about reality, TV, movies, books, all sorts of things, so definitely peruse the channel, okay? Check me out. Get in where you fit in by subscribing, getting in the comments, letting me know what you think about the episode, and liking the video before you leave. Let's get into it, okay? So again, I told you there was a lot that happened, but not a whole lot that happened. Kathy Hilton and her delusional self girl and all her pillows has decided that she has planned a trip. And she's taking the girls. She's put together like invitations and their suitcases full of stuff to go to the beach. So we're excited for that. First person she stops off to is Bowles. We love Bowles, okay? Bowles is giving real black woman tea, okay? Kathy stands outside the door and Bowles is like, okay, girl, is you gonna is you gonna stand there or is you gonna come in? Okay, first of all, Bowles looks amazing amazing okay now the energy between Bowles and kathy i'm feeling something there <laughs> feeling something there i may be i don't know i'm not gonna call it i'm not gonna say nothing but Bowles was definitely giving like come on here all right please what you what you what you want want uh ma'am okay come on right anyway maybe that might just need to be projected i don't know i don't know so but it was just awkward kind of between the two of them, all right? So Kathy comes in and gives her the invitation. She look, she's like, oh, this is real cute. It's got a moniker. It's got her initials on it, monogrammed initials, all that kind of stuff. So it's real, real cute or whatever. Next thing, Kathy goes to see Garcelle. Now, shout out to Jade because Jade is doing his little modeling thing. And girl, when I tell you, the boy has it. The boy has got it, okay? Face is fierce, girl. He looked like made for it, okay? So Garcelle is helping him out and Kathy and her friends show up and they're all like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. And it was cute. It was cute, okay? So she's going, they're going, and then she stops to Dorit. Then she stops to Kyle, I think, last. And they sit down and talk about some of the renovations and some of the upgrades that Kyle is doing on the house because she realizes that Mauricio is moved out. And so she's trying to do some things. So here we go with Kyle talking about how Dorit is mad about things that really don't make sense or don't really hold up. I said, oh my God, <laughs> how delusional do we have to be? Like, is this how it really is? where someone is literally projecting onto you the exact thing that you're doing to them or they're doing to you. I said, Kyle, what are you talking about, girl? You're doing a very, you are doing exactly what you're saying to read doing. And you still have yet to address the fact that you said to people publicly, okay, that she, she's exaggerating your friendship with her. Girl, that is major okay and you have yet to explain why you said that and you still are trying to like beat around the bush talking about oh the girl said this at bravo con girl which clearly it was a joke because you were laughing as well anyway i'm not gonna we'll get into that in just a second but here's why i'm looking at kathy i'm like kathy now you just gonna let her sit up here and just be delusional as hell that you're not gonna say nothing you're not gonna say nothing okay girl I, and i guess you her sister out of all the people that can say something but I guess nobody want to get on Kyle's bad side. If you say anything, how she wrong, then you'll be ousted by her. So, okay, I get why Kathy. But Kathy just sat there. Look, let that girl just be delusional as hell on that damn couch, okay? Anyway, speaking of Kyle, we have a scene with her and Mauricio. Girl, Mauricio is not coming back, girl. <laughs> Mauricio is moved out, bought furniture, girl. He didn't get the, the, the play stage, girl. He bought permanent furniture, girl. Bought towels, girl. He is not planning on coming back at all. OK, and now Kyle is walking around like a Bambi lamb. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do because my husband is gone. And, you know, without my husband, I'm not a mother. What am I supposed to do? But last year she was not playing by anybody else's rules. And, you know, shout out to LT, uh, LTD Productions. He made a very good point about how she was flaunting Morgan Wade. She who shall not be named, I guess. But also the girl was already on the damn show and they already showed us and we already know her damn name. And she was in a music video with the girl anyway. So whatever, Kyle. But. That's neither here nor there, okay? But so now she walking around like a Bambi lamb, like, girl, I don't know what to do. What what, what should I do without my husband? Mauricio, girl, Mauricio done paid his best girl. He is gone, girl. He is gone. Finished, okay? 
And so I feel like at this point, Kyle, stop playing. You already know it's over. Stop playing, okay? I I, I just, because you was fine. Low key kissing on Morgan in that music video, girl. We you know we saw you, girl. We know you kissing last week, girl. We saw you, girl. We saw you, girl. We saw you. But anyway, let's let's move along. Do y'all think that Kyle is really hurt that Maurice? Let me take that. Let me let me rephrase my question because I do believe that there's a part of Kyle that's mourning the relationship that's ending with Mauricio. But I feel like Kyle has already anticipated most of this already. Because, girl, the way she was all up in Morgan face and flirting and, girl, the girl was blushing with Morgan last season. I ain't forgot, Kyle. I'm looking at a picture of you right now that I got of you last season. Blushing with that girl, okay? So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, y'all get in the comments. Tell me what y'all think, okay? So, let's move along. Now, we get to the, actually, prior to getting to the beach scene is Dorit and Erica Jane. And Dorit calls Erica Jane on the phone. And this is kind of like a, you know how they do flip between the two conversations, especially when people beef it. So Erica Jane is on the phone with Doree. Now, Erica Jane has absolutely agreed with Doree, okay? And so that's the other reason why I'm not understanding. Like, at least say, well, Kyle, I hear what you're saying, but I thought this was a joke at BravoCon. It was clearly a joke. And if this is what you're really upset about, girl, eh, really? This, this is out of all the things that you can pick, this is it? Okay, so anyway, the reason on the phone with Erica Jane basically explaining herself, you know, she really is upset about this and it's not making sense. Erica Jane's like, girl, you know, you I was surprised that that's what she that that's what she said that she was mad at you about. Like, girl, please, okay. And then later on in the episode, we find out that she was mad. Kyle was mad at Dory for not defending Teddy. I was like, girl. <laughs> you really reaching when i tell you kyle is reaching for any and everything girl reaching for any and everything okay anywho let's let's move along so we get to the beach girl it's real nice though but they playing duck duck goose and all these nursery rhyme games and stuff quiet i just kept kyle talking about something i don't want to be trapped in some nursery kathy is trapped in some nursery rhyme or something like that kathy was like well bitch i'd rather be trapped in that than in some shit in real life i said oh no notes, Kathy. You're absolutely correct. Okay, you're absolutely correct, Amundo. And then I think that they do ring around the rosy, I think, or some shit. Duck, duck, goose, girl. Dorit was fumbling left and right. Girl, the shit was so damn funny. Dorit was eating, eating, saying. <laughs> Dorit was eating saying left and motherfucking right. This shit was hilarious to me with her Chanel pants on, okay? Loved it. It was so damn funny to me. Anyway, so they're at the table. They get down to have some lunch or whatever. And Dorit is basically spilling to Bowles, right? And no one else is a part of the conversation. It's just Bowles and Dorit. And Dorit clearly is just talking and just, you know, going in and telling Bowles all about her business and all this other stuff. And Garcelle said in the confessional that it's good for Dorit, Dorit the, you know, I can see Dorit, you know, talking to Bowles about all these different things because Bowles is a brand new person. It's a brand new page. She don't really have to hold on to any of the pretense that she does with the rest of us, right? It makes sense. But damn girl, you hogging her. We want to get to know her too, right? Now, I I just be looking at Dorit like, this does not absolve you, okay? This don't absolve you from the allegations, Dorit. It really doesn't. So, I'm going to just leave that there. Y'all get in the comments and tell me what y'all think. But this does not dissolve or absolve, okay? Dorit from them allegations. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm still, I still got the bombastic side eye, Dorit. I do. Okay. Um, anyway, moving forward. So the girls all are getting ready to go. And I forgot to mention before they leave, when I tell you, Jen, the girls are rich, bitch. Okay. The girls are fucking rich. Jennifer Tilly has a Louis Vuitton boat bag. Bitch, I don't, at least 30, 40, 50,000 in her hand. Okay, bitch, Kyle walked in, girl, $30,000 bag. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, what's her name? Sutton, I, girl, Sutton, girl, $30,000, $40,000 bag. Kyle and, and Sutton both got the same bag in the same mustard color. Bitch, y'all hoes is fucking rich, and I loved it, okay? And also, shout out to our queen, Bose. Did y'all see them cute-ass jeans with the, 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 the rhinestones and the bedazzled? 
I was like, Bose, baby, come on. I love Bose is cute, girl. She is real, real cute. Okay. Just a tall chocolatey dream girl. I love it. Okay. Anyway, okay, so they get to dinner. Let's get to the dinner scene. Cause girl, it really wasn't nothing but <laughs> it really wasn't nothing but Kyle and Dorit. Kyle says, you know, let's cut to the chase. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention. You know what? Hold on. Y'all, my bad. I did not have my notes in front of me, so I'm forgetting some stuff. But let's talk about Erica Jane real, real quick. Let's talk about Erica Jane. Last week, I was like, y'all know what? I think Erica Jane is jealous of something because something got money. Bitch, when I tell you, that's exactly what I believe. Erica Jane is broke as hell. She ain't got no goddamn money. Now, don't get, don't get me wrong. Now, she got that Porsche in the driveway. But, bitch, that don't mean nothing, okay? You got this Porsche, but, baby, that's probably all you could afford, okay? The rest of these folks got Porsches, Porsches, plural. You just got this one, okay? So, I feel like Erica Jane is a fucking hater. Let me tell you why. First of all, she over there eyeing Jennifer Tilly's bag like, bitch, I know that it's a piece of art because it costs so much money because I really want it. I'm like, yeah, your ass is broke and you jealous. OK, I know you see Sutton bag. I know you saw Kyle bag. You can't keep up with the girls and you're mad. You are. I know you are. I could say. So last week when you was talking about how Sutton. Oh, you can't say you didn't get anything in the divorce. You got something. Bitch, the girl. OK, yes, yeah, she got her coin. All right. Yes, yeah, she was on her P's and Q's about her money. But also, right, it's still a divorce. It's still a painful separation heifer. OK, just because everybody ain't lose like you did. All right. Don't mean. I love Erica Jane, though. She's still my girl. But, baby, I, them green eyes, girl, I was seeing them hater. I saw the hateration in the dancery, ho. I saw that shit. Y'all get in the comments tell me what y'all think. I saw that Erica Jane, you're hating ass. Hating ass, bitch. I saw that. Anyway, okay. So, back to the dinner scene. So, we, uh, they're talking about, oh, child. Again, I keep forgetting shit. God damn it. On the way to the beach or on the way to the vacation, they talk about who all they dated. It's always talking about sex, of course, okay? Like these women don't get enough of it or something like that. I don't know. So the is how drink if you've ever done. I think it said never have I ever. Garcelle talks about how she dated Will Smith. She talks about how she dated Sean Penn and Eddie Murphy. Now I believe her because baby Garcelle is and was a bombshell, baby. The girl is the girl is fine, okay? The girl fine, okay, then and now, period, okay? But Erica Jane over there hating ass again. How many times does she bring that shit up to my son? Oh, well, if she if she married them, but <laughs> she she dated them but married the man she was with. Oh, girl, that don't make no sense. Bitch, yo hating ass. You mad because you had to jump on Tom old raggedy wrinkled ass dick and that's the closest to a fortune you could have gotten? Again, I love Erica Jane. That's my girl. Okay, I really do love her, but I see that hating ass. I see you hating ass. Alpha. Erica Jane, you a fucking hater, girl. <laughs> you a fucking hater, period. Okay, anyway. So they also, they see Tom Cruise a little, Tom Cruise imposter. And now he looked just like Tom Cruise the Top Gun. He really did. But here go Erica Jane again. Talk about some. Oh, well, it's is was Tom Cruise another dude that Garcelle dated? I said, ooh, we these eyes are green. Yes, my eyes are green. Cause I eat a lot of vegetables. No, bitch. Your eyes are green because you hating ass broke ass hoe. That's what it is. Okay. And Tom left you with nothing. Okay. Bitch, he left you for dead. Okay. That's what it is. Anyway, moving on. Let's move along. Move along, move along quickly, quickly now. So, all right, now we get to the dinner table, child. Now, again, Dorit over there talking to Bose, child, and, you know, they soaking it all in. And Kyle is basically like, let me go ahead and cut to the chase, all right? Let's get to the money. Um, I don't want this thing to be awkward between the two of us. I know we're going to have to have some sort of conversation. I ain't trying to do it all that right now, but we're going to have to have some kind of conversation. Dorit was like, yeah, girl, since you opened the door, let's go ahead and see what's inside, bitch. All right. Okay. So, you know, you told me what your problem was, but I'm still not understanding. I'm still not connecting the dots because, girl, this shit don't make no sense. Kyle to myself, it's, a, it's an overlap of several different things. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening to what you said. So you told me that you was mad because what I said down the Bravo card, but bitch, it was clearly a joke, okay? Erica Jane and Confessional was talking about, well, you know, I heard, maybe I might be getting this conflated with the after show because I am do I am watching the after show too. I think I might be getting this conflated. But in the after show, Erica Jane was like, I understand what you meant, Kyle, because you then heard that Sutton was talking about, not Sutton, that Dorit was talking about um, Kyle being able to, to turn on the waterworks whenever it's convenient. I said, now, why you ain't saying that, Erica Jane? I understand you want to stay out of it, but let's be for real. That damn BravoCon bullshit that Kyle is trying to peddle, 
it don't make no goddamn sense because the bitch was laughing in the middle of it as well. So how does she explain her laughing? Okay. Can you explain that? And it was real genuine laughing. It was not nervous laughing. It wasn't like, oh, okay, well, damn, bitch, that's how you really feel. It was clearly a joke, okay? It was so exaggerated that you could not go there. It was an actual joke, okay? So anyway, so then Kai decides to bring up, oh, well, it wasn't just that. It was a series of different things. So when that guy, shout out to uh, Alexander Rogers, okay? Shout out to him. Um, When that guy came up and talked about Teddy, you didn't even say anything. You just shrugged your shoulders. Dorit ain't say nothing. Dorit just sat there. She was like, bitch, you mean to tell me that you wanted me to defend your friend? Yeah, she cool, but I don't even know her like that, like that. Child, quite as it kept last season, Teddy was ready to cuss Dorit ass out just because Dorit was trying to tell her the damn thing was backwards. The hoe was so damn high or off of NyQuil or whatever she was, you know, sipping on something. She had a cold, okay? Dorit and, and Teddy don't fool with each other like that. So what are you talking about, Kyle? So you want her to jump in and defend Teddy when that's your friend? And and Dorit ain't even said nothing that was out of pocket or out of line or nothing. She just sat there with a straight face. That's your friend. And Dorit said the very same thing. She was like, girl, please. Are you kidding me? That's not my friend. That's your friend. Okay. And no, I'm not because Kyle was trying to accuse her of only doing what's popular. She was like, no, girl, that's you. <laughs> Baby, Dorit. Hello, girl. I don't know how we got to this part, but. Dorit was like, no, girl, uh, you absolutely right, but now you can shut now you can shut the fuck up and listen. I said, oh, la, la, la. Dorit, no notes, mama. No notes. Now the other part about you trying to be bold with a friend, I got notes on that, but I ain't gonna go there until I until I see it fully flush out. Cause you're not gonna beat these allegations. I'm gonna just let you know that right now, girl, because I got my good eye ass eye on. I got my good eye on you, bitch. I see that shit. But in terms of Kyle. No notes, mama. No notes. All tens across the board. Tens across the board, girl. You ate her ass up for lunch, girl, with a Coca-Cola girl. Coca-Cola girl. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, okay? Do you need a napkin? Because you ate, love. You really did, okay? <laughs> you ate, all right? You really did. I loved it. Every piece of it. And I know Kyle was taken aback because she's so used to playing that manipulative bullshit. And, and that's exactly what Dorit was saying. Like, her approach is either... To come at me and try to pull a sympathy card so that I'll be like, oh, okay, Kyle, my bad. I'll I'll back off or whatever, whatever, right? Or you'll try to come and attack me like guns blazing, saying all kind of mean shit, and then I'll back off. Sometimes she tries both combinations. Let's try to play the sympathy and then get hostile at the same time. She said, none of that shit is going to work. I got real feelings. I feel a certain type of way, and this is what it is. And even, even Erica Jane was like, I'm surprised that this is the shit that you're getting upset with Dorit about, right? And Kyle was like, well, did she say it? So it was a whole moment of them talking about Erica Jane like she wasn't in the room. I said, Erica Jane, girl, speak up, okay? Because you over the, you on Dorit's side low-key. I see your ass. You low-key on Dorit's side. And ain't nothing wrong with that because Kyle ain't no making no motherfucking sense, girl. Just say that shit. Anyway, also, I do not like, let me just say this right now. I love Garcelle. I love Bo's more. I don't know, Bo seem cooler. Let me, let me not put, not, I'm not putting the black women against each other because I like both of them and I love, I want to see them team up. Why does it skip? Okay. Um, but what I don't want is Garcelle to jump in and be trying to be on Kyle's side. Because let me tell you something. Even though Dari, all right, you not beating all the allegations, ma'am, Garcelle, Kyle ain't your friend neither. Okay. And I understand the enemy of my enemy is my friend, but girl, that, that you, you, you might want to stay out of white people's business. You might want to stay out white folk business and hush, okay? Because if Erica Jane ain't trying to get in the middle of that shit, Garcelle, you don't want to be in the middle of it either, okay? You might want to keep your black ass up out of these white people stuff too, period, okay? Anyway, y'all get in the comments, and I, I hope the guy Garcelle, don't put, ooh, and I feel like she is going to say something, and I do believe she's going to be on the wrong side of history trying to defend Kyle's stupid ass. Girl, please. <laughs> girl, please, girl. Go go away from us with this. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, Garcelle. Mind your black ass business. Okay. Anyway, go ahead and get in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about the episode. Erica Jane is jealous as hell. That jealous ass broke ass bitch. <laughs> I love Erica Jane. I really do. But you's a jealous ass broke ass bitch. You really are. Okay. For real. For real. Uh, get in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about the episode. Don't forget to like this video before you leave. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all later. Take care. Yeah, just say you will, will.